Okay, hello. In this video, we're going to show you how to enable HDR, enable 4K, and kind of 60 frames per second mode as well. I say kind of because it could be 120 hertz depending on the game. It might even be less, but let's get into this. So you want to go up here. You want to go to settings, and you want to scroll down. First of all, go to screen and video. Go to video output. If you go to video output information, it'll tell you based on your configuration, obviously based on the console you got, based on the TV you have, and based on potentially the HDMI cable you've got as well, what is supported. So for me, current video output signal is 4K at 60 Hertz, but the it does my setup does support up to 120 Hertz as well, and HDI is supported. I've turned HDCP off because I was messing around with some capture cards, but you can turn that on. You will need it on if you are doing stuff like Netflix. Okay, resolution. Most likely you want to do automatic. If not, just select the resolution you want and 2160 is 4K, 1080p is full HD, 1080, uh, 1080i full HD but interlay so every other pixel is rendered and then the ones that are in between and 720p is progressive but 720. And you can, just this if you want you most likely want this on automatic you got hdr so most likely you want that on automatic if you want it on and make sure you do adjust hdr you will have to quit any games that you have open which you know is annoying but if you do that it will take you to a screen like this and you go up and down till basically this logo is just barely visible so for my eyes uh, mm, that's pretty good right there and again, you do the same thing for this as well. Uh, yeah, I can. That's looking pretty good. And that's it, that adjusts your HDR. Okay, next what I'm gonna show you is that sort of 60 frames per second thing I was telling you about. So if we go down to saved data and game app settings, go to game presets you can change the difficulty here as well if you go to performance performance mode or resolution mode i've got it as game default but if the game supports a performance and some sort of resolution mode they might call it quality mode they might call it something else then if you select performance mode you'll always choose performance mode in your games if the game supports that feature if you choose resolution mode, you will always choose resolution mode in the game if it supports that feature. So what you can do, I know we call it duty Black Ops Cold War, you can force it to do 120 hertz if you do performance mode in here, and then I think you do performance mode in the game as well, you'll get 120 hertz. You won't get ray tracing, you'll be at 1080p, but I've just got it at game default and I can change it in the game as I want to. Some games like Spider-Man, I put it at performance mode with ray tracing, so that's dynamic resolution, but that is totally up to you. And then obviously there's a bunch of other stuff here as well. I might create another video that just is pretty comprehensive that goes over the whole PS5 system and I'll show you all the different features. But that's it, really simple stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. There'll be a link to the in the, in the description to the Discord channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next PS5 video.